Budgeting is a skill unto itself. The strategy involves getting big tedious. Being able to manage your money is an acquired skill. For those of you who like the budget and others who might be looking for a way to begin a budget, here are three things to budget your money better. Do you have what it takes to make a right left to you? If you have not already, please subscribe to my channel for videos to educate, entertain, and enlighten. Right off the bat, you should really download an app so you can keep track of everything you've spent and everything you've earned. As long as it's an app like My Budget Book, Money Manager, Mint, whatever it is, go look through them. There are a lot of them. Make sure it's something you're comfortable with. As long as it allows you to put your expenses and earnings into it. You want to keep track right at your fingertips. So the moment you spend money or earn money, you can put it right in your phone. It's best to have it. Also, a lot of them have a thing you could PDF out a file for your accountant. So you just, this is what it was. And everything is kept perfect. And also on top of that, say, you know, once it's downloaded, you should start setting up specific specialized categories and maybe accounts for you particularly. For me, I have accounts that say BBR protections. I have accounts that have ODIR protections. I have accounts that are personal bank accounts. I have, uh, you know, everything from anything that as long as it has to do with my career. So I even have one for writing, one for comedy, one for music. So whenever those businesses bring me money, I know which ones are bringing me money. Things like that. Also, you might want to have uh, food in, food out, groceries maybe. You might, you might want the special categories to be, I have pizza, because I eat so much pizza, I have to budget pizza. I should really have an ice cream one too, but I've really cut down my ice cream. I just put it on the pizza and count that as pizza. Whatever category it is, if you feel it'll be something you spend on the norm, you should make a category specifically for that. Have caps on your budget. That's right. Basically what you do is you take your average monthly overhead, and once you have that figured out, each category of spending should also have an average monthly overhead to it. You might eat food out. So food out could be $500, which is not out of the norm to see. And you might say, that is a little too much for me. Let me bring it down to 300. Though grocery or food grocery or just grocery, I will bring up $100 because the more I buy in groceries, I could do prep and I could have leftovers and I can make the lunches and I could maybe I'll bring lunch to work or whatever it is. Definitely that's how you budget your money by staying underneath your caps. And then you must live and die by the caps. They're a little malleable based on the month or where you're spending. However, if you take away from a cap or you add to a cap, you have to adjust your budget accordingly, especially if you add. Because if I add, say, $100 to a particular category, I might want to start taking some money down on other ones because your average monthly overhead is where you're trying to stay. Caps give you an ounce of control because you could say, hey, do I really need to be spending this kind of money $800 on drinking every month for a month? I could be saving that money, damn it. I don't make enough money to budget. A budget has nothing to do with how much you earn. A budget is all about what you spend. So, no matter how much money you earn or spend, you can always figure out a budget. The budget literally is what you're spending. How much am I spending this month on what? Budget. All you gotta do is spend less than you earn. Thank you for watching this video and supporting these traveling adventures of a resilient entertainer. Please comment, like, and share this video along with subscribing for future content. This is an interactive series and I will always respond to productive questions in the comments. Uh, for all those who share this video, please at Thomas J. Beleza and I will share something of yours in return. Because we're a community of people who love one another. Love.
love, sweet love. As always, don't work too hard, but be productive. Peace and harmony, my friends. Truth, action. Do you have what it takes to make a right left here? Do you? Do you, punk? Do you? Do what? Oh, I got. I gotta go. Do you? Do you? Do you? Oh dear.